from a from when we did the the the, the POC with, with Lambda Test, the, the one of the big things that we were there was there was two big factors. One was um, in terms of you know spin up times and how how things would spin up in terms of you know, speed to um, enable our test to run. And the other one was very much around the support we would get, you know, if we had an issue. Um, and previous uh, providers, you know, they, they were challenges for us. And that for us, it wasn't about, you know, um, can we run the test in these different browsers or anything like, like that? Because a whole host of, there's a whole host of people out there that offer the same type of service and can do the same thing in terms of that coverage and maybe more. But it was very much about having somebody to partner with that understood our values, understood our ways of working and would be supportive of that. And we talked a lot about that when we were speaking with Lambda Test originally. And I'm happy to say that since you know signing up and, and working with the guys, it has come across that you know they are able to support us very, very quickly if we have an issue. You know, we've not had any issues in our pipelines from a you know a speed to test perspective. Um, and and that, that those were the key measures for us. As I say, we don't we don't run thousands of tests a day, right? We don't need to run thousands of tests a day, but the tests we do run are very valuable, and we need them to run quickly. Um, and if we do have an issue, we need that issue resolved quickly. And they were the metrics that we were really working towards. With with this and with everything else that we do, we do still try to evaluate everything that we're doing continuously as part of our continuous improvement, right? Just to double check, are we using this to its full capacity? Is there still value in the way that we use this? Um, because quite often, we, especially larger companies, can fall into the trap of, this is the standard, this is the way we're working, we keep using it. And we only find out later, actually, you know what, we've caused ourselves some pain by not doing this the right way or not using it to its full capabilities. So it's something that we're, we're trying to continue to evaluate um, our use of you know, Lambda test or our use of, of, of this tool or that tool or service provider and just verify, you know, are we, are we, have we got the best out of this partnership? Can we get more from it? Um, do we need to involve anything else? Is there something else we do? And, and this, this ties into our UI automation and testing uh, strategy overall. So there's a lot of questions that we have still about how do we approach our tests with this? We like the setup we've got, but we know we've got some challenges. There are certain tests that are there that perhaps don't give value that they should. And there are maybe other ways that we can test those those things. So part of our continuous improvement is always to continue to evaluate based on how we're currently working and seeing if there's any cracks or anything that we need to have a further conversation with. And as, as Stuart said, we found that Lambda Test have been a really good partner. Whenever we have evaluated and thought, you know what, we need more or we need to talk to them about, we know we've got some more performance testing we'd like to do through through the front end. Is that something they're thinking about for their for their backlog? Can we join that conversation? That's always something they've been open to and had a, that continued dialogue with us. <laughs>